Hi, everybody. This presentation is all about how to fill out your online application. Um, online application is the simpler, more easy way to submit an application. It's also a little bit cheaper. It's $75. Uh, if you were to print off a paper copy um, to enrollment services and mail it in, it would be $100. Um, so today, this is all about the online application. So I'm going to head over to sasspolytech.ca and I want to click on the apply now button. You've made your decision, you're ready to apply. So you will notice when you um, click on apply now that there is instructions. You can review a step-by-step -step guide if you wish. Um, if you are an Indigenous student and looking to speak with an advisor or some student supports, maybe you'd want to contact the Indigenous student advisors first. Um, or if you um, have an accessibility accommodation that needs to be looked at, you can read more about that there. But if you're ready to apply, once we click on this apply now, we will have to create a login and PIN number um, to follow through with the application. If you do have questions, there is also our four enrollment services campaign campus's emails listed below, um, but let's proceed to the apply now button. Now you can read all the general information regarding um, how to apply the online fees um, if you're an international applicant or a bachelor of science in nursing applicant, um, and also how to order your transcripts if your education came from Canada, um, because high school transcripts are very important for all of our programs as admission typically requires um, high school required subjects. If you have post-secondary um, transcripts as well from within Canada, we do ask that you have the institution mail those directly to the institution, um, you know, to SAS Polytechnic from the organization in which you took your studies. Okay. Um, and those that have foreign credentials from outside of Canada, I did have another video that posted for permanent residents or Canadian citizens with foreign credentials and how you need to supply your transcript. So please do make sure that you are listening to that uh, video as well. So uh, the majority of our programs is called First Qualified, First Admitted, and so you can apply to those programs all year round. Um, most programs start every September, so it really is um, you applying to the next available intake. So if the program starts in September, um, you are applying to the September intake. Some programs might have multiple to start dates and that would be listed on their respective program webpage. Um, for high demand programs, there is a specific application period of October 1st to February 15th. So we have about um, six programs that are, are a high demand or competitive application process. Um, but anyway, let's scroll down and let's create our login and PIN. I already have a login and PIN saved, um, but you need to create your own. So again, you'll create a, your login and PIN uh, number. So if you have never created a login and PIN before or a first time user, you can click on account creation. You'll see that blue hyperlink right there and you can create your own login and PIN number. But I'm gonna follow through and just log on in using the account that I already have. Now, you guys won't have these above applications. Um, I've been in this portal many a times, but if you are starting a new application, you are going to cl click on new. So if you are applying for a certificate or diploma, that is the application type. If you were applying to a program that is of a degree level, you would click on degree level or the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, or if you um, were an international admission or a literacy and adult education. But for most of you, um, you might be just applying to the certificate or diploma as this presentation is on our full-time studies. So I'm gonna click on continue. Now you will have to uh, select application term. That is the only option for admission term. And then of course, put in your first name, middle name and last name. I'm just using test for mine, uh, but put your accurate information please. And then go to fill out application. So now you will see that there is an actual application checklist in which you must follow. Now you can log in and out of this portal as many times as you need to to complete your application. It might take you 20 minutes or less, um, but just so you know, not until the end of your application will it then proceed to ask you for payment of your uh, $75 fee. 
Okay, so it's going to ask us for our name, our contact information, your personal information, your planned program of study, high school and post secondary education. So of course, with your name, go through that, make sure you are entering all your information accordingly. Um, and then of course, if you have attended SAS Polytechnic previously, put yes. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have, um, what does this say here? If you've previously attended or applied to SAS Polytech or what we used to be called SIAS, please provide the year. So just a little bit more um, information for you there. Then you will click on continue, and this will lead into your personal um, physical address information and phone number. You can check that out, continue to go. Um, oh, it's wanting me to enter, of course, because you need to follow through, but I'm gonna go back to the checklist because I'm going to skip that part for the moment while I'm doing this quick overview. Um, does it want me to, or does it not want me to? There we go. Um, sorry. I guess I'm gonna put in change checklist without saving. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> Um, then we're going to go to plan the program of study. So again, if you chose a certificate or a diploma, your program of study, when you click on the drop down, it is going to have every single diploma and certificate program we have listed in the drop down. So check the one you need accordingly. Um, sometimes people say, Hey, my degree program isn't showing up in the drop down. Well, that's because when you chose your um, at the beginning of the application, it asked if what kind of type of application you were filling out. If it's a postgraduate degree, you would have to choose degree as the application type so that then there will be um, degree programs available for you to cho choose if you had chose that accordingly. So we are in certificates and diplomas, so you can go ahead and choose your certificate or uh, diploma. And if there is anything else you need us to know about your application. So in this section here, I often will tell people to indicate if you've taken a SAS Polytech program or if you are hoping to, uh, if you're just planning on applying for part-time studies, if your program allows that. Um, any additional details that you want to add in there that you think enrollment services will benefit from, by all means, put that in the white space there for you to type. Um, now, once you've completed that portion, we can now go to high school where you can fill out your high school information. Um, again, this is for Canadian high schools. Um, and so you can look up your high school um, you can select the province in which you went to school, the country. Um, it will select a list of courses in which you can choose. Um, so let's say you went to this city here. It might have a bunch of uh, um, high schools that you can select from. But um, anyway, you're going to complete all of the information, um, your high school level obtained, when you graduated. If you don't know the exact date of which you graduated, um, don't stress because you have to supply us with your official high school transcripts regardless. And so all that good important information is going to be on there. Um, so again, if you took your high school education in Canada, please do order those official high school transcripts to come directly to SAS Polytechnic from the Ministry of Education direct. We do not take handoffs from students. I get asked that question quite often. I have a copy at my house. Can I just give it to you? Um, the answer is no. The, uh, the official transcripts must come direct to SAS Polytechnic from the Ministry of Education. So you can just go ahead and Google search Ministry of Education in your province and you can find their web page there. Um, and then the other section of the application is any post-secondary education that you have. Um, now, it will have other countries listed if your education was not here in Canada. So do try fill that out as best as you can. But again, for anyone who has education from another country, 
Um, you will have to go through an assessment where you are submitting scanned color copies of your previous education to our international documents at saspolytech.ca, along with a cover letter. Now, I did put all that information in a previous video that I did on permanent residents with foreign credentials. So please do go back to that video and find more information um, that you are needed uh, to do in order to complete your application. All right, so once that is all complete, you can finish and uh, say that the application is complete. I haven't gone through that whole process because I'm uh, I don't, not going to go ahead and put in all my personal information. But once that is completed, you would, um, you know, you can basically um, just go back and finish the application. It'll ask for the $75 application fee. You should receive a receipt by email. Um, and the important thing that I want you to remember here is that after you have applied, you will receive a nine digit student ID number with additional information on how to log into your MySAS Polytech portal. So that is very crucial information that you are gonna need because all further communication regarding your application will be sent to your MySAS Polytech portal and within your electronic letters. Now, assessments um, you know, of your transcripts for the programs, if they are a first qualified, first admitted program, they typically take 15 business days or longer um, to do the final assessment. Um, pending you have all the required documents needed uh, for the program in which you are applying for. Um, so if you haven't got your student ID login information within a day or two of applying on a business day, please do contact enrollment services and let them know um, uh, because you do need that information to see uh, any further updates. So that is all about the online application portal and under become a student you can look at the application guide here there's a four step process for submitting your online application um, which will go through the motions in which uh, what you might need to do so um, document requirements english language proficiency all that kind of stuff so do make sure that you are looking at every section here to make sure that you are getting the appropriate transcript submitted and if you know, your program asks for any keyboarding or other information that you are getting that submitted to us. Permanent residents with foreign credentials, you will want to look at the English language proficiency if English is not your first language, and then as well the foreign documentation that is required to assess your application. So typically after you've applied, we will um, require scanned copies of documents um, from your previous education to be submitted to international documents at saspolytech.ca with a foreign document submission cover page. Um, it must be in English. So if your documents are not in English, we do ask that they be translated um, and we recommend ATIS. Um, but yes, again, this is all under the student application guide. If you have questions for our enrollment team, make sure that you're reaching out to them. You can contact them by campus. Email is usually the best way to reach them, um, or you can contact by the um, contact the one eight hundred number and ask for the specific uh, location in which you are looking for. All right, so that is the online application portal. Uh, there may be other videos that pertain to you that you need information on. So do check those videos out as well. And thank you so much and have a wonderful day.